Yeah. So. Uh, if you don't know me, I'm an elder and I'm 13 years old. And so uh, you can see my painting over here. And it depicts the status of war through many countries and also the uh, various types of Petrukivka around Ukraine. This includes Crimea because Crimea was always with Ukraine and always will be. So, uh, while I grew up, I took an art studio and while I was in the art studio, I actually painted uh, this third piece, which I literally submitted to the contest. And I would say it went great. So, uh, you could see the buildings here. Uh, which depicts uh, millions of villages being burnt down and also wildfire and also many disasters which you may know about. This also depicts of the underground shelters which some Ukrainians probably lived in and suffered in. And so then I move on to the, the, uh, the dove, which is covering the entire painting with its wings, depicting peace and loving care for the entire painting. Uh, it's also protecting the lands of Ukraine, which are all, we're all blooming in a picture with Petrukivka. If you don't know Petrukivka, I think a lot of people do, but maybe some don't. Petrukivka originated in a town called Petrukivka, and it was uh, painted in, uh, in nature style, but it was before that depicted into house decorations and people used that to decorate the fences in Ukraine. Uh, the white, the green soil depicts uh, in my painting the Ukrainian soil and where I was born in and by uh, the only soil which I will ever depict as home. And the entire painting shows the type of political setting which if Ukraine ever wins the war, which it probably will, uh, I will happily take the opportunity to go back to my home. Uh, I also, before I end my presentation, uh, I should thank the juries and everyone else, and as well the contest, being invited to it. And I took the opportunity and I thank the juries also being the opportunity to be here in Golden Time Town. Thank you.